Okay. All right, coming to the top of the hour. So Wait, how many entrants were at this high? 54, I've been told. Never. 54? Yeah, that's a pretty good number, right? And both Muffin and Valadin, like two of our regulars, are in. Well, Valadin is in top three, Muffin's in top five. I'm so saying just two of our regulars are in top eight. It's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm pretty proud. And then Jump Study's also in top five currently. Yeah. So our regulars. Are you in top five? No, I got 17 because I'm bad. <laughs> but, anyways. <laughs> So I'm up to with a lead right now, actually. This is good. Um. Oh, you have to go for like yeah. I was gonna say that's the best thing you can do is actually just go for that stall, a little bit of PK thunder, and try to hit him so you can just grab the ledge and just go for an aerial. <sighs> you want to flow on that? Yeah. And that usually like depending on the character weight and the character in general, like you have to be careful because like I said, I was telling um a lot of if it hits you, the worst that uh, the best that can happen thing is it's gonna pop you up. And you're gonna have to go. You can try to land with an aerial because Belmont's aerials aren't that great. In terms of coverage, like they only cover like they cover like eight directions in general, oh, six directions in general. But like you can still like find that one blind spot. So, um, I know that the biggest thing that's gonna come into play like as the set progresses is that I would say. I would say Muffin's biggest habit, right? Yeah. Is so he'll he'll do like usually nair on shield stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And after doing the nair, he'll do like an immediate um, get off me option, either yeah. like tilt or jab, and that's not bad. But the problem is, um, the problem is when he goes for like the same option over and over again. Because the one thing I noticed is that he doesn't really mix it up between like either going for the instant attack and just yeah. like spot dodge and start backing off. Because like if he always picks shield or backing off kind of thing, he'll get punished. They'll respond immediately and hit him. And if he always picks like till and jab afterwards, they'll just wait it out. And hit him. But if he was to mix up the two, uh, it would make the opponent respect him a lot more. Yeah. Kind of thing. So like I know that's gonna come into play later. So I just hope that like he like catches on to that. I'm not gonna lie, Muffin was doing pretty good, but looking at how he was played through, like they should just call it back. But like Muffin has a sick uh, combo game though, so all he needs is one good hit and that's it. Oh, that was asking for a lot, especially with PK frames. Okay. Like, it's actually relatively more usable, but that was asking a lot. Like, you have to be careful with that approach. Muffin actually deserves that right now. What? He got away? See how the axe pops you up? You yeah. can still reset yourself and then find a landing. <gasps> the, no, the hitbox ran out. It, it, it has like a certain amount of time that it runs out, and then you're putting a punish you for it. That would have been Muffin's grab to definitely probably get some momentum back. And he had to go for that jump there to make sure he recovers. Oh, that was a good there. Yeah. Was able, to, able to clank with the actual... He lost it there. He was able to clank with the cross. You have to always make sure what moves you have. Yeah. That a clank with um, Axe. So if you do go for an aerial approach again from the ledge, mm -hmm. you have the right move to just challenge it and then also try to make a landing. Because even, like I said, even though Belmont's aerials have cover basically what is six directions in a sense, you still can get into one of those blind spots. And not only that, like, it's it's kind of slow. You can go for direction and direction survive. Right, right. Okay, so... Yeah, I kind of figured Mars would take them here. So, I would definitely say the biggest thing there that hurt him was just, like, the far axe off stage. Because I know Mars is normally used to, like, not go right into off stage. Because yeah. of how high that Lucas can go, but... And that's the thing about axe, too. Yeah, that is the thing about it. Um, it has, like, three... It has close range, mid range, long range. Long range. Like I said, dash attack really good. Get off me, especially from the ledge. You crazy kids with your snap and rolls. I remember when all we had was melee. I remember when all we had was brawl. I remember when it was melee. Those are dark times, man. Dark times. So yeah, I noticed that Muffin has done like a really good job of not getting like stuck at the ledge as hard as like people tend to get. Oh, that was a good point. That will be fine. Oh, but he lost the. 
It's gonna like all ledge. I'll get using the Zerda with the recovery, but unfortunately the neutral gun up there will be the punishment you take for it. Alright, good, good. Oh wow, he's still punished. Yeah, it's four tilt's not that slow. Uh, about frame I believe frame eleven. See like muffin like overextending. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that that is. That was funny. That's that feels bad, man. Yeah, cause like muffin is like just overextending a lot, especially when he has the advantage. Cause like I get that he wants to start like his combo chain and all, but yeah, see like it's allowing Nitro to escape his pressure. That was oh. scary because he directed our dog and he got hit by a fire. Okay. Still alive though, so that's good. Go. Yeah, like honestly, like he's playing neutral fine. He's just overextending on his advantage state, so he's not really capitalizing off of it nearly as much as like Nitro does. <laughs> Might be a bit. He seems a bit like frustrated at this point because he's just running into everything. At this point. Yeah. Oh, that was gonna, yeah. That's gonna be it. Yeah. He that 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 out. can kill you. Like that's pretty much like the CSS ladder. Yeah. He's definitely not happy about that one. It's tough too because like usually like you, it's hard to anticipate when the Belmont main feels it, but if it's at that percent, usually like around 100 to 110, it'll definitely connect. Facts. Okay. So game three, I actually like this choice. Lucas is one of the few characters that I actually banned PS2 against. One of the few characters that I banned PS2 against. Lucas, you banned PS2 against Google Lucas? Yeah, I, I don't want to die to up throw like at one point. <laughs> That's it. That yeah, you, you have yeah, to be careful he, when you neutral get up. Yeah, he's actually frustrated at this point. He, like now he's just running in. It's hard too because when you have like that most disadvantage against the Belmonts, not only that, that you're that behind in percent in the stock, you're feeling like you have to go ahead and remake it up, especially with the way Muffin from Marsh plays where it can be very explosive after a confirm. Yeah, like at this point. Oh, I suppose this Yeah, because at this point he needs to stay calm. Yeah, because like he's going for like a lot of like Hail Mary options. And yeah. The, the one thing that I feel that Muffin has been struggling a lot so far this matchup is Nitro Gata. That has been like the bait of his existence here because Nitro is just so keen to punish it. And I feel like what it is is he's been conditioned to respect Axe. Right. Yeah, because like at this point, he would have to play both stocks perfectly, but... Hard, hard to tell with the way the Nitro's playing, too. A good use of forward tilt after Muffin's uh, reflector there, because he kind of wanted to punish him afterwards. You can reflect the projectile, but you can't reflect the forward tilt. There's an angled forward there. I told you about how much deep it goes. Okay, that was, that was great pressure for Muffin. Okay. So... Finally opening him up. Okay, 60% is not the worst. He just needs to not get hit. He's trying too hard to approach. I mean, if he wants to punish, he just needs to run in and hold shield. That's it. Yeah. Run in and hold shield. Oh, that was a good catch. 
Oh, oh that, that was good, good enough. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Axe one more time. Ooh. That movement. Can though. he set up the holy water here for the landing? Oh, but unfortunately, as there. he starts. That was a good one. Yeah, I'm offering response. Okay, he just needs to not overextend. He honestly just needs to stay grounded at this point. Because Nitro's been anti airing him so hard. Okay, okay. That's it. That'll do it. Uh, <sighs>